gives you the best MP4 videos, how to convert videos, and how to actually make them come out perfectly for the web. Now, I'm using this as an example to show you how you do not always get videos in MP4 format. We're looking at a WMV video here that's being produced by the product TTS Video Maker. Now, TTS Video Maker, as you can see in the drop down box, only makes WMV files. So that may be disadvantageous for some who would really like to see MP4, which is becoming more standard. So in order to do that, what, all we have to do is just render the file as normal in this particular program by create video. And then I'm going to call up my handbrake. Handbrake is free um, on the web. As a matter of fact, you can get it for free. It does not cost anything, which is great. And this is the Mac version, which I understand is a little bit different than the Windows version, but they're both pretty similar. So the first thing you'll see is, um, well, this is kind of complicated. We'll get to that in just a moment. I mean, it's not really complicated. It just looks at it at first glance. But the first thing you'll want to do is pick a source. And in this case, after you click the source and you look around on your drive, uh, the source that I actually picked, here, let's do it. Uh, here it is, final presale video dot W. It really says WMV there. All right, so that's what we loaded in as the source video. And the destination video we can then change by browsing for a suitable destination file. So in this case, I have chosen to go to my desktop and I'm calling it the same thing. But notice I'm changing it to an MP4 file. And how am I doing that? Well, there's a drop down box here which allows you to change it to MKV or MP4, but it does take in all kinds of different files, such as WMV, FLV, so I'm able to actually convert it. But the question is now, these settings that I said before look a little bit complicated. Well, let me show you an easy um, basis to go by. In other words, the easiest thing to just assume and do, because that's basically my way of marketing and doing things, is I look for the easy way out, and then I learn the details later. That's why I'm able to do so many things at once. So if I click on video right here, you'll see a bar. Now, normally, it'll be set to 20. All right, RF 20. The reason is because, um, and, and, and I'm not exactly sure the technical reasons behind it, but 20 is a, a reasonable amount to crunch your video down without affecting the quality. However, I find that you could get away with even more. You could get away with 22, 22.5, and if you really want to start playing with the quality a little bit but still leave it fairly reasonable, you could reduce it to 24, and that will give you a very small file to begin with. The second thing to always do is always click this, Web Optimized, if you're going to show it on the web. Okay. The third thing, and this is a cool trick, click on audio and instead of stereo, change it to mono. And then you could, usually mono would uh, come in as 80, but in this case it defaulted to 40. You can do 40. 80 or 40 for the bit rate from mono. All right. If it was stereo, it would usually give a higher bit rate. As you can see here, it's ranging 40 to 80. Usually the range is more like 40 or 20 to 160. And you could go mono and then change it to 80. Usually it's 80 for mono. But in other words, the lower the bit rate, the more this uh, video is going to crunch. And you could get it all the way down to 40 without losing too much voice quality. You'll lose some music quality perhaps. 40 and below, but uh, 40 and above, music and voice should be fine. So that's basically it. At this point, all you have to do is then click Start like this. And in my case, the file already exists, so I'm not going to overwrite it. But that's it. Um, I've shown you the video and the audio, and then there's other things you could do here, advanced subtitles, chapters. We're just going to ignore that. I want you to just concentrate on this slide bar right here, all right, and making sure that you're 20 or even higher with this number right there. And you also want to play with the audio, and you want to make sure that it's clicked on this, Web Optimized. And that's it. Those are the main controls. And, of course, you're going to pick MP4 file that you're going to change it to rather than MKV in most cases.